flared leggings, or how I always called them, yoga pants, are back whether you like it or not. And I know a lot of you guys don't like it. First, skinny jeans were out. Then I guess leggings are out. So apparently the trends are telling us no pants can touch our skin below our knees. You guys are clearly very heated about this because I asked for some flared leggings that I should try out on my Instagram story. A staggering amount of you guys just said, none, don't make this video, like very aggressive. In reality, trends are just trends and I think you should wear whatever you want. For me, leggings aren't going anywhere. I could see myself wearing a pair of yoga pants, flare leggings, whatever you wanna call them from time to time, but leggings do have my heart. I never found yoga pants quite as flattering on my legs and even more so than leggings, it can be really hard to get them to be the perfect length because if they're too long, they'll literally drag on the ground. And if they're too short, they just look really awkward. My mom always used to call them floods because you know, if there was a flood, your pants wouldn't touch the water. And ever since she said that, I will never wear pants that are too short like that. Anyways, comment down below. Do you say flared leggings or yoga pants? Because I feel like for me, leggings are tight all the way down. Yoga pants are the flared ones. So to say flared leggings is like a little bit of an oxymoron. Anyways, getting into the video. So today I am trying flared leggings from a bunch of different brands, from a bunch of different price points. I bought all of these myself. A lot of these I've either seen people talk about or you guys mentioned them in my little like Instagram Instagram comment box. We got a lot of options today. I don't necessarily think I'm gonna be ranking one as number one, but definitely giving you the pros and cons, what you need to know about each of these. If you like super honest, unsponsored reviews, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you're new. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Also, before anyone asks, no, I will not be reviewing the Lululemon Groove Pant because I tried to find them on the website and they were literally all sold out. So yeah, that's beyond my control. Let's start out with the Airy Real Me Cross Waist Flare Leggings. Long name. All right, so I'm pretty sure these went viral on TikTok, much like the Airy Crosswaist leggings did. So these are about a mid price point. They're $49.95, probably can be found on sale from time to time. It kind of sucks, because as soon as these like Airy Crosswaist leggings went viral on TikTok, it's been harder to find them on sale because they sell out and it just kind of ruins it because you used to be able to get them for like 35. So these come in a pretty big size range and they have short, regular, and tall lengths. So I got these black ones in a size small, regular, and I got this tan in a size small long. If you're new here, I'm pretty tall, I'm 5'9", so normally I need the long length, and it may look a little long on me, but when you wear shoes, it's a little better as long as it's not like dragging on the ground. But I can't stand when yoga pants are, you know, hovering above the ankles, it's just not a good look. So these are made of the signature Real Me fabric, super thin, super stretchy. I've tried and loved the cross waist leggings in the past, so I do think I'll like these. Only thing is this fabric does actually pill pretty easily, it's like kind of just disappointing because it's not a brushed fabric, but it pills. Okay, here are the black ones in the regular length. They're not actually super short. Something about yoga pants, like I've always done, is just like pulled a little bit of it down and like, you know, made it a little longer. So yeah, I think these are okay. I mean, I don't know, for me, like flared leggings look cute from the side, but then from the front, like I just have like pretty like bulky legs compared to like the rest of my body. So I feel like I benefit from the taper of a legging to kind of like be a little slimmer at the bottom, but here I just have like bulk here and then it flares out. It makes my legs look even larger. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I do like the cross waist. I feel like it's a good height. Could be even a little bit higher, but I like how the airy ones have like a V cross waist in the front. The fabric looks like a little bit shiny. I don't think you can tell on camera though. Front seam is actually okay. It's not super invasive, but the back seams are sitting pretty low on me and maybe it's because it's black, but I feel like it's like a little too snug on my booty a little bit. So I needed a little more stretch. So yeah, let me try on the tan ones and see if anything's different. I really wanted to get a pair of the long ones and this color was the only option available. And first of all, Aries real me fabric in light colors tends to be pretty sheer. Definitely not cellulite friendly in the light colors either. And this is like literally my skin tone and I did not use any self tanner this week. So we're just gonna be blending right in with this. So they feel really soft so far. I think this fabric's gonna be good because it's gonna be nice and flowy. We have the signature cross waist detail. They do have a front seam and back seams are like slightly tapered. All their seams are pretty thin too. This was on their leggings as well, but they don't tend to be very invasive. So let's give both of these a try. A little moment for Pinto being super cute here. Hey, buddy. Stretch, stretch, 
straight. All right, so here are the beige ones. So definitely if you pull these too high, um, you do get some camel problems. I just wish they were like a little bit higher or if they didn't have a front seam, you know, that would solve the problem. So these are the long version and I definitely feel like I get more of like a flowy, more like relaxed yoga pant look with the tall ones. So I do like the tall length. I also feel like because it's the tall version, it's a little narrower, longer down, whereas the regular length kind of flared almost right at my knee. These are flaring a little more like calf. So personally, I do like the long on me. But yeah, this color, not super forgiving in terms of cellulite or anything. Also probably not the most, you know, opaque in the world. But the material's soft, lightweight. The cross waist is nice. They're decently affordable and it comes in multiple lengths. So I would still recommend these. Just beware, they can pill in the lighter colors. I'd probably stay away from. All right, let's jump in to a higher price point. So from Athleta, I got the Elation Flare Pants. See, none of the brands are calling them yoga pants anymore, which is confusing. I tried Athleta pretty recently, I'd say, and I really liked their quality, their fabrics, but I felt like I was kind of in between the small and the extra small. I did get a small today just to be careful. I will say all of these are coming in so much of this tissue paper. Like this is a lot. So these also come in regular short and tall lengths. I got the tall in this beautiful blue color. It is made of their Power Vita fabric. This is $89. So it's actually not the most expensive one we're trying today, but it's up there. Thick waistband that does have a band at the top. And I guess it makes a little bit of sense because yoga pants tend to be like a little heavier. will get weighed down a little more. So maybe the band will help with that. It has a little key pocket in the back of the waistband. I don't think I've seen any yoga pants yet that don't have a front seam, which I'd love to see that at some point because, you know, if we said goodbye to the front seam on leggings, why can't we say goodbye on flare leggings? I love Athleta's Power Vita fabric. It's like a thin brush material, kind of like a more compressive Lululemon align. And we got some large bell bottoms. So, oh, super stretchy. Okay, let's try it on. All right, so here's the Athleta ones. And I just love this fabric. Like these feel super luxurious. Definitely feel a step up in quality from the airy ones. So we have a high rise. They do have a front seam. And I did get the small, which every time I get a small and airy stuff, like you can see it fits really well around this region. Like I don't feel like I have any extra fabric in the crotch or anything, but the waist just gapes. That's why it's been hard for me with Athleta because I feel like it fits really well. And then I have like this giant waistband gaping. And when I size down to the extra small, I sometimes get camel issues. So it's a bit of a problem. I feel like it's especially because they have the band at the top. So I'm not in love with how this fits me personally, but the rest of the leg line feels really good. These do also have a seam down the side, super soft. It's a little low on the glutes for me. I'm like, I'm a little bit higher. Usually that's for leggings, so. Fabric is pretty thick. I bet in darker colors, these are pretty cellulite friendly. Definitely more so than the airy ones. And the long is very long. Like it's covering like my entire foot. So I know with brands like Lululemon, like you can get a free hem if you buy something full price. So that is, you know, a reason to splurge on these higher priced ones sometimes. Um, I don't know if Athleta does that too. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments, but I feel like getting the long and then hemming them to the perfect length is better than getting like the regular version for me and having it being like, on the borderline of being too short. So yeah, I actually really like these. Love how they feel. Um, I'm a brush fabric girl, so it's really no surprise. This fabric is also super stretchy and non-restrictive. So although I wouldn't work out in a pair of yoga pants, just cause I don't like how the bottom like, you know, gets in the way of things. I like my clothing to be like, tight against me so it's not getting in the way of equipment and whatnot. If you are someone who likes to do yoga in yoga pants, these are very stretchy and not restrictive. All right, I got two pairs from Amazon because I wanted to throw in like a super affordable option. The first ones are from Bubble Lime. I've tried Bubble Lime leggings in the past and I didn't like love them. Something that really intrigued me about these Bubble Lime ones is that they come in so many lengths. They literally have 29 inch inseam, 31 inch, 33 inch, 35 and 37 inch inseam. I don't even know what I got. Anyways, I think I picked an inseam somewhere in the middle of that. I think maybe the 33 inches because I was like, there's no way I'm a 37 inch inseam. Like that is crazy, but very tall girl friendly. So these are made of a sleek performance material. Feels pretty nice so far. These also have a pretty thick compressive waistband and these do have like a full elastic at the top, which again, 
you know, yoga pants can get heavy, so maybe that'll help keep them up. It's not really my favorite. It's actually a pretty thick elastic at the top, and I think I've tried bubble arm leggings in the past that have had that. Didn't love it. Little front key pocket, front seam. These are the seam down the outside as well. And yeah, actually, I feel pretty good so far, so not knocking it yet. I just really like that they have the multiple lengths, so let's try these. Oh, hey, Pins, are you back? You ran away. All right, so here are the bubble arm ones. The small fits me really well, so definitely true to size for these. I am just getting like the tiniest bit of cutting in at the waistband here just because there is a decently thick elastic at the top so that's not super ideal i don't love that but i do feel like it's keeping them up at least pretty thick waistband you're definitely going to get a lot of lower tummy control down here but the waistband does go over my glutes a pretty good amount so not the most flattered in the booty but i don't feel like i'm being squished down i actually kind of like this performance material it's really sleek and soft it has a little waistband pocket here for a key or something which i feel like was much more of a thing in like yoga pants back in the day than like leggings now i feel like we don't really have these quite as much so yeah usually when you have lower tummy control like this and the waistband kind of stays it cuts into the glutes in the back but it's not too bad. I'm pretty sure that I got the 33 inch inseam, but I think this is definitely an ideal length for me. Like it's not dragging on the ground as is here. I mean, I think it is just barely touching the ground, but with a little bit of a shoe, it'll be the perfect length. I do like them to kind of like fall over my shoes a little bit. The material is a little thicker than like the airy ones, but not quite as thick as the Athleta ones just because they're not brushed. I feel like these ones are a little less flared than the Athleta ones. Like those ones I felt like were like huge bell bottoms. These are kind of just like a medium flare down here, nothing crazy. So even though I don't love this top seam, I love all the inseam options that the Bob Lime ones give you and they're fitting really well. They feel actually pretty decent quality for the price. So I think if you like a performance material and you don't mind this top band, these would definitely be my Amazon suggestion. Literally in my years of reviewing activewear here on YouTube, I've never heard of this brand and I'm kind of surprised. But a lot of you guys in my little comment box when I asked for recommendations on Instagram were like, these were the yoga pants to have like when these were popular. So I was like, okay, I was down to review one more expensive pair. They do come in multiple lengths as well, and they're $98. So I think that's about the same as the Lululemon ones. They also have some cute ones that have little stripes down the side that I liked. I didn't want to like review the stripe ones and like have people be like, oh, I don't like those because they're just like stripes down the side. So I just wanted to get a plain pair. Got this navy, and so far I'm like, not actually crazy about the fabric. It feels a little bit stiff and thick. Could be good, but it's not brushed or anything. So it's actually not super soft, but it's also not a sleep performance material. Here's the fabric. It's just like actually very, very thick and not brushed. All right, so here we go. Okay, these are the first ones so far that don't have the top band, or I guess the airy ones didn't. So just kidding, it's not the first. The first one with the straight across waistband does have a front seam. The glute seams are just straight across in the back and they're looking pretty skinny down the leg. It's the biggest assumption to make. I don't think my legs are quite this skinny, so I'm gonna expect a little compression. Got a huge flare at the bottom, and okay, there is a little crotch gusset. I don't know, this isn't like screaming $98 to me, so I'm not ecstatic about these yet, but let's try them. Okay, here are the Splits 59 ones, and like I was saying, they looked very narrow <laughs> in the legs, and these are literally tight, like down to the bottom of my calves, and then they flare. So first of all, I do feel like these are too long for me. Maybe Maybe that's like contributing to this, but I just feel like it looks really funny from the front because it almost looks like they're gonna be leggings. And then down at my ankle, they're like, nope, we're not gonna be leggings anymore. So maybe if you have very narrow legs, I feel like these could work for you. Um, everywhere else fits me well. Let's talk about the waistband. Okay, so I really like the waistband on these. It's the first like straight across no top seam one. I feel like it fits really well. Pretty thick too, got like some lower tummy control and everything. And actually kind of comes up a little bit to not cut off your glutes in the back. So I actually think these do a really good job of having like a nice flattering waistband in the front and back. They do have a front seam, but I'm not having any issues with it. So I feel like that's okay. I'm just not loving this material. It reminds me a little bit of Lululemon Luan, which someone tell me I'm not alone in this experience. My first ever pair of Lululemon leggings were the Luan material. At least that's what I think they were. I don't know, they were original Wonder Unders. I think those were mostly made at Luan. They definitely weren't new Lu or anything super soft. I would wear these to high school and sit on those like plastic chairs 
and like the Luan material gets so incredibly itchy over time that like I like stopped even wearing Lululemon leggings to school because they would just itch me so bad and I am already feeling like this material is going to get a little bit itchy so I personally either like full-on brush materials or I like full-on sleek performance I don't like this intermediate kind of like not brushed Luani itchiness. I feel like in the right length, these would be a little bit better. Like maybe they wouldn't be so tight on my calf here. But another thing I like about these is that they actually have this little like slit insert thing to make it like a super flare at the end. So these are like definitely like a super flared legging, like super skinny all the way to a big flare. So if you like that really dramatic flared look, these are actually pretty nice. This material, even though it's not brushed, still does attract a little bit of pet hair. It's a little easier to get off than a super brushed legging though. Does have the seam down the side. These ones would probably be pretty cellulite friendly as well just because the material is pretty thick. Also pretty compressive too like medium and high compression. So yeah maybe these would be okay in a different length. I also will include all of the inseam measurements for these because it's confusing to me when a brand is like oh short medium long and then doesn't give you the actual inseam lengths because a regular length in some companies might be long in the others depending on how they you know determine their inseams. So I'll be providing those inseams for you guys. What do you guys think of these? Too narrow all the way to the bottom or is it a different look? One more pair from Amazon. I just wanted to throw in one more affordable one. These ones are from the brand Afitme. I really don't know how to say it. And these were pretty highly rated and like showed up pretty soon on the list when I searched flare leggings or yoga pants. The only thing is they don't have multiple length options. So it's gonna be a little limiting. These do have a band at the top. The fabric actually feels pretty soft though. Like. This is actually pretty impressive fabric for Amazon. It's like a super lightweight brushed material. So if you're not into like performance materials like the bubble lime one, this is actually really nice. Okay, I'm seeing why these got good reviews now. Just bummed that they only have one length. Here is the close up. I don't know if you can see, but they're just very finely brushed, really soft. Okay, they do have like a zipper pocket in the back. So that's a nice touch. They do have these like secondary curved glute seams. And this is one of my least favorite seams that they put on leggings. Like I just don't like I just don't like it. I feel like it sits too low in your glutes and it's not actually flattering. And I don't really understand the point of putting it here because there's no pocket on the side. And usually this seam is used to like tie in a pocket to leggings. Crotch gusset and I feel like these might be a little short on me, but they're actually like a pretty wide leg all the way down instead of like kind of a narrow and flare. So let's see. All right, and this ladies and gents is why I always get the tall length. This was just the only length offered and it is that very awkwardly short length that I just don't like. Also when I get short ones, like they kind of start flaring like above the knee and I just feel like we gotta go to the knee and then, you know, some, maybe even upper calf. If this inseam length is gonna be good for you, I actually really like the fabric. They unfortunately still do have a band at the top of the waistband. These aren't like the most snug on my waist either. So if in between sizes, I've maybe sized down in this one just because I think I have a little bit of space. I also feel like this little pocket is sitting a little bit weird too. You can kind of see the folds here. These do have a front seam. It's not causing me problems. Maybe it's because they're not like the most snug up here either. Pretty thick waistband. It'll give a little lower tummy control. And then they have these seams, which I don't really understand or think they do much, but they do go over the glutes. So not super flattering. This I would say is my second favorite fabric from today behind the Athleta ones. Like I really liked the Athleta ones in the fabric. And I would say that these are like not the biggest flare either. And obviously just too short for me. These are the floods that I was talking about. So that's okay if they work for you. It could be, it could be worth a try. And lastly, I wanted to try this pair I've been seeing on Instagram. It's from the brand Muses Only. So this brand tends to drop ship from AliExpress a good amount. So I haven't reviewed them before, even though I get requests about it, but they do keep their stuff pretty affordable. I actually ordered these the first out of any of the pairs that I ordered today, and they're still not here. Um, it's been like over a week and a half, and they sent me two emails on like tracking my shipping, and every time you click the link, it like doesn't actually lead you to tracking the shipping. It's like very strange. So I'm literally not even able to see where my package is. So I was like, this could take weeks. So I'm just gonna film this video. And whenever I actually get the yoga pants, I'll insert a clip. They also only came in one length. So my hopes weren't really that high, but they are in a cute brown color. Okay, I finally got the flare leggings. And as soon as I'm taking them out, I'm already just feeling like these aren't gonna be the ones. So these are made of a sleek performance material. I got the brown, cause I've been kind of into brown lately. With the little Muses Only logo on the back. And first of all, they do have a top band and it feels pretty tight. So that's kind of a bummer. I think I got a small. Yes, I did get a small. It looks, it looks 
looks pretty small. There's a little key pocket in the back. And while it has like pretty thick stitching to attach the waistband, the front seam is actually like a pretty hidden seam. Little crotch gusset. And again, it only came in one length. So I'm not expecting these to be like the perfect length for me. Let's try them on. Okay, you know what? These actually aren't horrible, like especially for the length. I actually feel like it's it's decent, like it almost goes to the floor for me. So the length might be okay. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the top seam. Just like, why do we even bother having that anymore? They are pretty slippery though. So I could see them sliding down a little bit and they got like a good amount of flare at the bottom. No curved seams or anything, but the seams do go above my glutes. And so I like that. I don't know, I can be here for a performance material. I like the brown. The front seam is not very invasive because it's not really much of a seam to begin with. So these are okay. I'm not totally in love with the top band, but I feel like the shape of them is good. They're not like too snug on my calves or anything. And I feel like flare leggings always like look good from the side. Like, okay, like, you know, a little, a little fit and flare looks good. And then from the front, I just look like, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, after watching all these clips and editing it through, I just feel like flare leggings slash yoga pants are so much harder to get quite right than leggings. Like leggings, you can just like, you know, hem them if they're too long kind of thing. But flared leggings, you kind of have to like buy them a little long if they don't have the perfect length and then hem them because they're not as forgiving in the length department. And then not only that, you also have to worry about at what point they flare on your legs that actually is flattering on you. Like the airy ones, I felt like flared a little high and the split 59 kind of flared a little too low for me. So it's like so many factors in these and just makes it so difficult. Like leggings are just so much easier. I definitely prefer leggings. All right guys, so that's it for the video. I feel like I don't have like a number one favorite out of all of these. I really liked the fabric and the flare of the Athleta ones, but I loved the waistband of the split 59 one and the rest of them all kind of had some pros and cons. Now that I've filmed this video, I feel like I really would like the Lululemon groove pants just because I know that they come in the new Lou fabric, which I would like. And I think they also have a seamless waistband. So I guess I'll have to try those out next. Comment down below if I didn't try any of your favorite flare leggings or, you know, also comment if you hate these because I know there's some of you guys who probably still watch this video even though you don't like these leggings. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, Pence, you came to say goodbye. Oh, the spring. He likes to play fetch with me in here.